Hey guys, Steve here. Today is Sunday, November 22nd, 2020. I have several pieces to share with you, so we'll go ahead and get started. Uh, first two pieces I am going to share with you, I just picked up from a couple sellers in Hong Kong. And uh, actually didn't take too too long of a uh, trip, as long as long not as long as I expected to. I've ordered other stuff from Singapore and things like that, and they've taken anywhere between a couple weeks to, you know, a month or so. But... Um, yeah, these were pretty quick. So the first piece here is kind of cool. It is a, I'm trying to think of the, I guess it's the McLaren brand. Yeah, it must be a McLaren specific brand. Um, looking at the label here. Uh, colorful model, maybe. That's the name of it. I'm not really sure what the name of the of the make is. But this is a McLaren P, um, a P1 in the Golf Racing Deco. It is 164th scale. Let me take the lid off here. Here you go. A uh, very cool piece. And uh, this is another piece that I kind of stumbled upon um, while searching for some stuff on eBay. And I just came across it. And uh, it's a nice piece. Uh, pretty detailed. Nice rims on this. Let me give you a little closer up here. Uh, the golf blue is a little bit darker than your typical uh, golf racing blue, but it's pretty close. Not too bad. And uh, yeah, did a nice job. Not the uh, maybe when I take the maybe when I take it off the base, I can look under the car and that'll give me a better idea of what the make is. Um, unless anybody out there happens to know, I never heard of colorful model. Um, so it's either colorful model or, uh, like I said, it's a uh, it's a specifically McLaren licensed piece possibly so all right uh the next piece is also um it's actually from the same seller so it's also another golf racing piece and this is a um so it's, it's a speed gt 164th bmw z4 gt3 let's open this one up for you This is the this is the little bit more golf blue that I was thinking of that I when I think of golf I think of this little bit more of this blue here, um, yeah. So a very very nice piece. Get a little closer here. Also one sixty fourth, very detailed. Delaney on the side. There's the top there. Got the M Power and of course the Golf, actually the Golf logo there. And there's the, uh, but uh, the case, this case here, um, you know, it just says on the bottom here Speed GT. So that might be the brand name, not sure. But a uh, nice, very cool piece to add to. The golf collection there. All right, uh, let's talk about some Hot Wheels. So lots of Hot Wheels today. So first of all, I'm going to share with you. This is uh, the latest um, RLC offering, and uh, this is this thing. This is probably the fastest I've ever received a particular piece. Actually, to add two orders, uh, two of these because I have two memberships. But this is the latest RLC offering from last Tuesday, 1969 Dodge Charger RT. And I ordered it Tuesday. That's when the sale was. I got a shipping notice for um, for my first one on Wednesday, and it came on Thursday. And then I got a shipping notice for my second one on Thursday, and it came on Friday. It's like, like I said, it's the fastest I've ever seen it shipped, seen any RLC piece shipped. Um, but this is a really nice piece, unfortunately. I have to decide if I'm going to open this up. Because the other one went to a friend of mine. Um, but there was, as you can see here, there's a total of 17,500. And this is number 8,432. Um, very hard to see in this light. But uh, they did a nice job on this one. There you go. Uh, and I really like the wheels on this. This is the new style of rim Hot Wheels is using. Um, also. You'll see that 
you'll see the same uh, rim on a couple of new pieces that I'm going to share with you in a minute. Nice detail on the engine there. Even the even the interior did a really awesome job. Looks like they did the um, the racing uh, seat belts there. Steering wheel. Wow, they did a nice job. So yeah, I may actually open this one up. Let's see. Um, here's the front. And you see the license plate there it says 69 6XTY9. Of course, the back. And then there's there's the rear. All right. Very cool piece. Um, don't collect a lot of domestic stuff, but that, that is one piece that I, I do like. All right, moving on. So, uh, da, da, da. before we get into some new series, oh, so I did find, you know, I've shared with you the last couple of times, a couple of videos that I've been finding some ID cars. You know, I first found two uh, Batmobile ID cars, and then I found the two new, um, is it the Charger? I can't remember what it was. Um, and then uh, this one I found um, last week at a, what if I, oh, I found it at a uh, family, family dollar. And uh, it was in a shipper. And it's, I think it's an older one too. Um, I think this one's been around for a while. Uh, maybe the beginning of the year, middle of the year. But um, I finally found one of these. So that's kind of cool. So it's the ID Bone Shaker. All right. All right, let's look into some new releases here. And uh, so the first thing I want to share with you is these are just now hitting both Walmart and Target. This is the new, back up, oops, back up here. This is the new Fast and Furious um, Euro Fast release. And of course, it's a five car set. Uh, so the first one is Fast and Furious uh, Aston Martin DB5. I haven't decided if I want to keep this one yet. So I'm not going to open this one quite yet. But uh, that's number one. Now the rest of them I will open. So the number two car is this one here. It's a McLaren S uh, 720S. Uh, very nice job on these wheels here. So let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. So there you go. Did a nice job on this one. That's I think this is also a new style new style of wheel. And uh there you go. There's the back. Nothing really fancy about this one, but uh there you go. Uh number three is uh the lamborghini aventador coupe now i will say um outside of maybe the um bat the batman lamborghini aventador this is probably one of the best aventadors hot wheels has ever done and uh, why i say that is because uh, i like the matte black for one thing but um they they finally chose um probably one of the best wheel types this is brand new wheels this is the one i was just talking about on the on the charger on the rlc charger but they, this one is look looks really nice. I think they did an awesome job on this one. Um, I mean the the Batmobile Aventador is is nice too. That's probably the the next nicest Aventador that's out there. But yeah, this is they did a really um, great job on this one. I think, in my opinion. So there it is with the the new rims. And if you can tell, uh, I think one of the things that makes it really look good is these rims are a little bit concaved. So, so we've got a good view of that rim there. See, there you go. Yeah, so they did a nice job. Wouldn't be surprised if a lot of people try to pull these for wheel swaps. Um, as you can see, they are a little bit, the backs are a little bit bigger than the back in the front. So if you're looking to wheel swap these to another car, regular car, uh, you may have to get two of these in order to get, uh, you know, wheels of the same size. The next piece is also a nice piece. Uh, nice to see this one. This is a new uh, car number four. This is the BMW M3 E36. 
And let's look at this open. This is uh, all black as well. I want to say, I don't think these are new rims, but we have, so we have seen these. I don't know if they're the best choice. Um, but yeah, I cut off there. Um, yeah, I don't know if it's a nice choice, a perfect choice of this for this car, but, uh, you know, I would, I'd probably pick something different. I don't think I would put chrome for one thing, but, um, but it is a very nice piece. They did a nice job on this one. All black. Again, nothing really, really, um, different about it. Um, no, no other top tampos or anything like that. Um, or stripes. So yeah, they did a nice job on this and, uh, gloss black. Uh, see if I can see anything inside. Yeah. The, the interior is pretty detailed as far as the mold is concerned, but nothing really painted or anything like that. And then number five is also another BMW. It's a BMW M3 E46. So a little bit, little bit uh, newer model. And uh, there's that new style of rim as well. Um, kind of an aqua, aqua green rim. Uh, I think they did a really nice job on this one as well. This is a very cool piece. It's probably one of my favorite body styles of, of them three. And I want to say this is the third generation, I think. Third generation M3. This is when they started to make it less, a little bit less boxy than the first two generations. But uh, yeah, that I think they did a really nice job on that one. That was really cool. All right, so that is the new Fast and Furious Eurofast release. Um, next release I want to share is another Fast and Furious. This is the uh, this is actually the Target um, excuse me, not Target the Walmart exclusive line of Fast and Furious. I only got three of the five cars because I didn't really want the other ones, um, but uh, it is a five car set as well. Um, so it's on a smaller card here. Just my thing here. So there's the card there. And so the first one is a 2015 Mercedes AMG GT. So. The black uh, tampo stripes down the middle, racing stripes down the middle. Yeah, so they did, you know, nothing really fancy, nothing really unique about it, but uh, it's an, it is another GT that I'll go into the Mercedes case. Um, so this is number one. Number two, which I did not get, number two is this uh, Nissan 370Z. Uh, number three is another, it's essentially the same car. Um, it's the McLaren 720S, but a, somewhat of a baseline version. That's the one we were just looking at. So here's the here's the Walmart exclusive, and then here's the Fast and Furious. Same exact casting, same exact model. Apparently, um, really the only difference is the real riders, from what I can tell. The front, and I mean, if I had to guess, I say the one on the right is just the the the, the Walmart exclusive one on the right is just a tad. A tad darker than the than the Fast and the Furious one on the left uh, from the premium line. Uh, that was number. What was it? Number three. Number four is the Lamborghini Gallardo LP five sixty four. Um, you know, nothing really fancy about this one either. Pretty straightforward. Looks like there's a little bit of scratch on the ruin shield there. Oh, didn't notice that when I bought it. Oh, well. Yeah, nothing really fancy about that one, but there it is. And then number five, I did not pick up. Number five was, uh, which actually is a nice, pretty, actually is pretty neat color. It's a 69 Ford Torino Talladega. And actually, I have one here. Um, I did pick one up, but not for myself. I picked up for my friend of mine, so give me one second. And I will show you what it looks like. Let me find it here. Oh, here it is. Okay. Sorry, I'm not really prepared. So here's the 370Z that um, I picked up from a buddy of mine. That's the number two car. 
And then, so here's number five, which is the, the Talladega. And I will say, um, it, it's, it's a, it is a model I don't really collect, but um, that is a cool car. And I love the, the paint on this. It's actually really nice. See, it's metallic. Kind of a metallic bronze. So they did a nice job on this. This Actually, this would have looked really nice if they would have made this part of the premium sets. In my opinion. So, there you go. Um, and then... Yeah, okay. So, the next pieces I want to share with you are some... The last pieces I want to share with you are some Matchbox. Um, these are new. I, I don't know if I shared this with you guys last time. I don't remember if I did or not, but I picked up this up. It's been out for a while. Um, it is a purple, matte, matte purple Mercedes uh, G550 wagon, 2015. Um, I have I shared with you, I think, a blue one last release, last video. But uh, there you go. Add the G wagon, purple G wagon there. All right, and then the last set I want to share with you is, is new as well. This is just now hitting uh, Walmart. Uh, so I don't know if this is Walmart exclusive or not, but this is the new off-road Matchbox Off-Road Rally release. And so it says one of 12 um, right now. I think they've only released the first six. Uh, so this is the 1970 Dodson 510 Rally. We've seen this particular casting release before. And um, this is the... I want to say it's the third, maybe the fourth recolor of this one. I like the color. Kind of a bright, okay. Uh, the next one is number two. This is the 2015 Subaru WRX STI. Not a too keen on these, this color of wheel, but it is a Subaru STI, so I, obviously I have to add it to my Subaru collection. Come down a little bit there. There we go. Um, number three is the. 1985 Porsche 911 Rally, and I'm not going to open this one up because this is actually uh, the exact same car that they released in the mainline version. Uh, the only difference is is the card itself, and I just confirmed this yesterday or today, and I compared this one and the one that was re pre previously released, and you know from what I can tell, uh, visually it's the exact same car, just a different card. Number four, uh, this is a nice piece. It's a 2010 Ford F-150 SVT Raptor. And they're doing a nice job on this one, I think. And the orange. Got the spare tire in the pickup bed there. There you go. The fifth piece I did not pick up, um, but the fifth piece is a, actually, one, two, three. So, there's three of them, sorry. Um, so the next piece after that was the, um, was a VW uh, Beetle 4x4, which I didn't want really. And, then, and the last one here is a 72 Ford Bronco 4x4. So. Those are the two pieces of the six car set here that I didn't get. And like I said, it says 412, so there must be a second wave or a second release that's coming after this as well. All right, and that's this is again the off road matchbox off road rally release. Okay. All right, guys, I think that's all I have to share with you today. Um, hope you have a good week, man. We only have four days till Thanksgiving already, and then it's off to the off to Christmas and 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 eventually end of the year and get this 2020 year out of the way um so uh happy hunting until next time we'll talk to you guys later have a good one